we're, we're at the foot of Golgotha. Jesus was crucified right here. Uh, as we go into the chapel of the Holy Sepulchre, we're going to turn right and go up a stone staircase and up to the Mount of Calvary. And the first chapel we go into will be a, a Catholic chapel where Jesus was laid out and on the cross and nailed to the cross. The next chapel will be an Orthodox chapel where he was, you know, the cross was placed on Golgotha and he was hung on the cross there. And so uh, you're standing literally at the foot of the cross where maybe where his disciples stood 2,000 years ago or very close. From John chapter 19, we're going to pick up the story where we left off a few, uh, about an hour ago. They took Jesus and carrying the cross by himself, he went out to what is called the place of the skull, which in Hebrew is called Golgotha. There they crucified him and with two others, one on either side with Jesus between them. Pilate also had an inscription written and put on the cross. It read, Jesus of Nazareth, the King of the Jews. Many of the Jews read this inscription because the place where Jesus was crucified was near the city. And it was written in Hebrew, in Latin, and in Greek. Then the chief priests of the Jews said to Pilate, Don't write King of the Jews, but this man said he was the King of the Jews. Pilate answered, What I have written, I have written. When the soldiers had crucified Jesus, they took his clothes and divided them into four parts, one for each soldier. They also took his tunic. Now the tunic was seamless, woven in one piece from the top. So they said to one another, Let us not tear it, but cast lots for it to see who is going to get it. This was to fulfill what the scripture says, They divided my clothes among themselves, and for my clothing they cast lots. That's what the soldiers did. Meanwhile, standing near the cross, Within, we know, within a hundred yards, perhaps, either way of where you're standing right now, was the mother of Jesus and his mother's sister, Mary, the, the wife of Clopas, and Mary Magdalene. When Jesus saw his mother and the disciple whom he loved standing beside her, he said to his mother, Woman, here is your son. Then he said to the disciple, Here is your mother. And from that hour, the disciple took her into his own home. After this, when Jesus knew that all was now finished, he said, in order to fulfill scripture, I am thirsty. A jar full of sour wine was standing there. So they put a sponge full of the wine on a branch of hyssop and held it to his mouth. When Jesus had received the wine, he said, it is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. You know, sacrifice is a very powerful thing. We think of a soldier who gives his life for his country. Or we think of a mother who scrubs floors so her children can go to college. We think of the sacrifice that our Lord made for us. It's a very powerful thing. That Christ gave his life for you and for me and for everyone standing out here, whether they realize it or not, the gift of grace from God's love. Christ came to save the world and He gave His life for the cross. Not some other place, right here, within just a few yards of where you're sitting or standing right now.